On my stream, I decided to spice things up a bit by reading Banjo-Kazooie fanfics. I honestly had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I was not disappointed. These are my favorite ones in order from least to most raunchy. Ungabunga's death. Where's our last Jiggy in Mayhem Temple, Kazooie? It's that temple right there. The two enter the temple and notice a funny looking character. What's wrong with you? Some caveman stole Targazan's sacred treasure. He called himself Ungabunga. And he's a caveman from Pterodactyl Land. There's an entrance to his cave in the outside of this temple. I'll open it up for you. The guy opens the other temple door. There's the flight pad. Let's go, Kazooie. The two fly into the entrance and fly into Ungabunga's cave. Stealing is hard. Unga needs sleep. There's the treasure. Keep it down, Kazooie. He'll wake up if he hears us. Banjo tiptoes over to the treasure. Huh? Get out of Unga Bunga's cave! I don't think so! A strange human enters the cave. I'm fed up with you, Unga. You must die! The human grabs a gun and shoots Unga in the head. Unga dying! Unga don't deserve this! My name's Ken, and I think that you do. You've annoyed me one too many times on BT, and this time you paid the ultimate price. Unga falls over dead in a pool of blood! Grab the treasure, Banjo, so we can get to this place. Banjo grabs the treasure, but before he, Kazooie, and Ken leave, Ken sets Unga's corpse on fire. Now you know what happens when you get me mad. The end. Oh, man, okay. Seduced into a healthy sleeping pattern by Panda.exe Banjo steps into the room to watch Kazooie playing video games. Now he was waiting for her to notice he was waiting, but she was focused on the TV screen. Guess he has to speak up. Kazooie, Banjo called her. Kazooie was still pressing buttons on the controller, but responded, Yes, Banjo? Do you know what time it is? She told him I'm still focusing on the video game instead of Banjo. It's bedtime. Is it our schedule? He didn't have any problem reminding her of that. Oh, really? What if I ignore your stupid to-do list? She asked, already annoyed at the changes. If you ignore it, you will get tired when we go on an adventure tomorrow. It's unhealthy, too. Banjo said, placing both his hands on his hips. It feels like I'm talking to a wall now, he said, making the bird groan at his comment. Look, Banjo, I don't need to go to bed. I'm not tired. I'll be fine tomorrow. Besides, when did you get all Adventure Boy pants all of a sudden? You hate that. You're always lazy, Kazooie said, pressing buttons almost intensely. Banjo narrows his eyes at this. But Kazooie, I'll be so lonely without you. Come curl up in my arms so I can feel whole again. Banjo opens his arms as wide as he said this. This definitely got Kazooie's attention, all right. She looks over at the bear and had a faint blush on her face. Oh, oh, well, aren't you trying to seduce me into a healthy sleeping pattern? Banjo stood quiet for one minute and then replied, Is it working? Banjo stands up from the sofa to turn off the console and fly toward Banjo to wrap her wings around him. I, I think that's a good idea, Banjo. Not because I want it or anything, I just, I just, I want you to shut up already. Banjo wraps his arms around her and chuckles all goofily. Of course, Kazooie! Guess things would end so badly after all, and for once, Kazooie obeyed Banjo. The end. Alright, what should we review it? <clears throat> I was so immersed, and it was hot. Should we do more chat? <laughs> Oh god, this is, this is a huge one, I think. 7,000 words. Oh my god, dude. This is called... Smelly Earthworm. Wait, or is that your name? <laughs> is that your name, Formless Duck? <laughs> it was a lovely summer eve at the beach. The sun was setting on this perfect day. 
nothing but an overlay of pink and purple from the sun's resting gaze reflecting on the calm waters. A palm rests gently on yours. You look up. It was Banjo, the bear from the hit collectathon, Banjo Kazooie. You and him were on your first date together. You gazed into Banjo's clear blue eyes and felt at peace. Wow, I would really like to fk Banjo the Kazooie, you pondered. <laughs> Banjo snarls. You love his cute noises. May I accompany you to your studio apartment? <laughs> ma'am, ma'am. Of course, Banjo. You smiled at the bear as he took off on shock pad conveniently oh. behind you, holding your bridal style to your destination. You and Banjo played Black Mirror, Bondersnatch, while smoking marijuana. Mary Iguana? You are both half naked and resting on the floor against the couch because you know that's what folks do. Banjo cuddled up to you and you felt his warm fur on your body. Having a burly fella lay on you like this has kind of turned you on. As if reading your mind, he, re <laughs> he reaches down to your underwear and starts to caress. You whimper a bit from his touch. He looks up at your expression and could tell just from your eyes that you wanted it. It's like your body was begging him to take you. It's kind of feral, but don't worry, Anon. You're going to hell for reading this anyways. Might as well just scream, F*** it. No words between you two. Just a sense of unity with Gamer Bear. Anyways, Banjo totally wants to dom you, so he pulls out his Nintendo 64 controller from what seems like thin air between his legs. With his hairless palms, he motions towards you to eat a lollipop, and you happily oblige. You take the girth of his Nintendo 64 controller and look up at him as your eyes water. He grabs your head and guides your motion all the way down to the base. This pretty much continues until he spills his vanilla ice cream. Yeah, he like sits you on the couch and just kind of slips his gargantuan Nintendo 64 controller inside you. You wince in pain as he strokes your hair. Then he starts thrusting. Banjo grunts out and spills his vanilla ice cream into your womb. You don't have to worry about pregnancy because you're a human f***ing a bear. America! The bear pulled his enormous length from out of your cartridge slot. Suddenly, your stomach starts to hurt really bad. And it's not from the immense pain of that hentai scene you just got involved in. Well, not per se. You pretty much crouch over and hack right there on the couch. Out came a Jiggy! Banjo grabs a Jiggy and Kazooie pops out to put in his backpack. Go! Kazooie proclaims. After that, he springs up and leaves your apartment through a hole he made in the wall, but not before throwing your flat screen Vizio TV across the room. Now that is art. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now that is art, dude.